Okay, this is just a quick recording to show you how to make um, a mood board, like the ones that we've used in our examples, um, using Photoshop. So if you just open up Photoshop and um, open a new document, I'm going to, um, whoops, sorry, open a new um, file. I'm going to use an A4 size, but rather than have it um, landscape, I want it to be portrait, so I'm just going to change those two measurements around in those two boxes there and click OK, so I've got a nice landscape one. Um, before I actually started in Photoshop, what I did was made a folder of um, images um, on my desktop that just had all the images I'd found online um, that I wanted to include in my mood board, and I like just quickly listed the websites in um, my blog post um, so that I had them for later. Um, so if you do that first, it makes it a bit easier because then you can put it all together at once. And then I'm just going to drag each of these images into... Um, Photoshop and if you click on the move tool up here um, just as soon as you drag it in and click place that will just make sure it's um, placed in the image then if you want to resize it because obviously they're going to be varying in size when you first put them on and we need to fit all of them in there and I've got quite a few images as you can see so if you just hold down the shift button and hover around that bottom corner till you get that two way arrow and then just simply drag it it will keep it in scale as if you hold down the shift key and then you can just place it where you want it so I'm going to put that first one in the top corner and then if you just click on another thing and click apply, so that just means it's going to stay in the same place, then that will be done. And if you just keep doing that, so dragging each of the images into it, and then you should, by the end of that, end up with all of your images dragged into it. So obviously I've done quite a chaotic kind of arrangement. You might want to make it a little more gridded. It's up to you. That's where you can sort of allow yourself to play around with it a bit. Um, so then once you've got that done, if I just close down this one so I can show you that one, so if I just drag that into um, Photoshop. Um, to add the text in, I'm just going to click on the text tool here and then just type in, I'm going to use the actual words rather than the numbers, so I'm going to put one for that first one. Um, and if you want to change any of the text here, if you just highlight that word, you can change the colour in this box up here. I've done it orange because that matches the graphics blog, so you might want to do the same with yours. Um, and then I've just picked Helvector because it's quite a clear font and I've done it about size 18. So once that's your typed and it's how you want it, if you haven't got it in quite the right place, if you hover around it till you see this symbol um, with the little cross, you'll be able to just move that up and down and place it where you want. And again, just go through and do that for each of your um, things. So I've gone all the way along and done that. And that's my finished one here. <clears throat> so once you've got that, um, it'll be, if you're in Photoshop, it will be a PD, PSD file, so you'll need to go into File, Save As, and then in this here where it says Photoshop is your format, if you just scroll down and click JPEG, um, that way you'll be, upload, um, be able to upload it to your blog really quickly. And then once you've finished it and it's uploaded onto your blog, if I just show you um, mine here, so I've uploaded it here, and then I've just made a list Oops, underneath and it just says one, so that's corresponding to the number. So if you use, you know, if you use a normal number like that, it would just be that. And then I've just given a brief description, and then these bits that are underlined here are hyperlinks. So I've just put a link in. So all you do to do that, if you haven't done it before, is just select the, click on link, and then you'll be able to add in your link, and it will link to it straight away. And that's it. It's as simple as that.